Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. Do you want some sexy sculpted arms? Well, here's a formula to do just that. All right, I'm gonna start with 60 seconds. It's gonna be like a warm up set. We're gonna lift quite light, all right? And then we'll take the same exercise and we'll hit it for 30 seconds, but you're gonna up the weights. So it's gonna be high volume, light weights, and then low volume, heavier weights. I'm also gonna throw some low impact cardio in here today just to make us sweat and get the heart rates up. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells, so grab those for the workout today. We will start with a warm up and end with a cool down. If you're looking for a lower body workout for tomorrow, click or tap the card at the top of the screen and download that. All right, let's do this. And build some sexy arms and move daily. Hit, hit training here. Let's take a circle all the way back, big circle with the one arm. All right, I posted like a little sort of Instagram compilation of heavy and light weights. Switch directions here. Like do high volume, then do heavy weights, light and heavy. And then a bunch of people said, please film this. So here we are, switch sides. It won't be exactly the same, but it'll be in that theme. And switch directions. Reach across here, tap it out. And up and over. Forward and back here. Just get those arms warmed up here a bit. Forward and back, that's it. All right, feet are shoulder width and we'll reach above the head here as well. And up. Let's just add a squat twist right here just to get the torso warmed up a bit. That's it. Five more. And a little torso turn up top here as well. All right, are you ready? We're gonna start light, okay, light weights. Here's your first few exercises, so grab those fives. Okay, so I've got those fives. We're gonna start just with a squat thrust. Halfway through, I'm gonna turn it to a wide squat thrust. Go light, we're just warming up here right now. Feet are shoulder width apart. Drop it low and press. All right, full 60 here. You should get the heart rate up a little bit. Just some good volume. It can really help recruit those muscle fibers. One more here. Now take it wide and low and a wide press. sit if you'd like. There we go. Slow and controlled. Very 
good. Okay, I got nine, I'm gonna keep those there. Moving into my palms up, bicep curl, and I've got my eights here. Knees are soft, shoulders back, 60 seconds here, in and out. So you're up and out. That's it. You wanna keep your elbows tucked in, touching your side at both angles here. Nose down, grabbing the 15s for just the straight up palms bicep curl. Okay, so knees are soft. I'm starting here, this is gonna be heavy for me. I'll go slow. Shoulders back and curl right here and slow on the descent. here now round two I'll still keep it heavier on the 30 second but for 60 seconds to my eighth squat thrust low and drive I'll call half and then we'll move to that wide press when it's lighter, right? Go for speed and volume instead of resistance. Oh, 
All right, moving to that palms up bicep curl. I'll go back to the 15s. Doing that pump, and then we're gonna move to our a low impact cardio coming up. Shoulders back here. here of punches. We're going to start with high punches and then I'll call out what's next. Here we go. You're here and up. That's it. Of course you'll get high impact right here and kick it out if you like. I'll stick with the low impact. Alright. Across the body now. Straight across. That's it. Three, two, and down punches. Go low, low. Good. All right, tap this out. All right, we're moving into a pulse. Nice low but wide stance, front punch, okay? You can tap that out if you don't need the break in between. Otherwise, drop it low and you're here. Shoulders back and punch. That's it. Ooh, nice quad burn there. Drop a little lower. Let's go, five more seconds here. And tap, round two, same thing. Back to your high, high, cross body, a low, low punch. All right, I'll tell you when to switch. Let's go right here. here. for that low squat pulse punch. Take it wide, drop it low, and pulse right here. If you don't need the break, you can keep this one going until I get back. Otherwise, take a look at the screen there. That's what's coming up next. And shake it out. Starting with that tricep skull pressure, but we're gonna go for 60 seconds. I'm just gonna use a 10. I'll call halfway in the legs. We're gonna add legs just to keep heart rates up a bit here. Everything is down. 
Everything is up, elbows in. Drop it low and press. All right, you're here for a full minute. Flex at the top and have a good handle on that dumbbell. All right, switch your legs. Here we go, everything down and up. Press up, back, up, and down. Here we go. Press it up. Take it back. Press it up. Bring it down. So you're here and up, shoulders, arm back. Good. <clears throat> so you'll see I'm pointing to the ground, my palm is to the ground. On our heavy set, we'll do palms facing up. Targeting those front shoulders, just a different angle there. Oh, I'm gonna 
fell that on the ground for your tricep press extension. Sticking with 15s for myself. Palms are facing straight up and back. Here we go. Up, back, up, return. Doing well, halfway. I put mo those dumbbells face each other at the bottom, then turn and face the ground at the top. Keep your shoulders back. to my heavier weights. I'm going to grab 12s. Keep my palms up. Take my time. This will be heavier. Knees are soft. Shoulders back. Slow. Again, we're going to side shuffle, turn and punch, side shuffle, turn and punch. Okay, holding twos here, full 60 seconds. It's gonna make the legs burn. Drop it low. You're here, turn, punch, here, turn, punch. Of course, you can walk it across here as well for complete low impact, all right? Very good. Okay, nice rapid fire squat, tiptoe reach. Okay, I'm gonna go nice and quick with these twos. Try to keep that heart rate elevated. Wide stance, drop it low and up, low and tiptoe. That's it. that lunge. We thought of doing that for a minute. 
Oh, break if you need, we can do it. Here we go. Lunge, turn, punch, and punch. We don't have to do that one again. Okay, squat tiptoe. Nice and tall. Drop it low. seconds per side wide stance shoulders back drop it low use your hips to flip it you're here up push good yes of course you could go lighter here Okay, this is, feels good for me, so this is my level here. One more here, switch your side. for my military press. All right, sit if you'd like. This is easier on some people to sit. I'll stagger my stance. Don't look up. Elbows are slightly in front of your torso. Okay, they're not parallel to the side. lunge bicep curl. I'm gonna go with tens. Hammer curl, hammer curl. High volume here, alternating legs on the reverse lunge. Shoulders back. Flow and curl right here and switch legs and curl.
going to 15s. We are gonna do a hammer curl. You're gonna turn slightly at the top to flex and squeeze that bicep. 15s for me. Shoulders back, up. Squeeze right here. press. I'm just going to use the 10s for my 60 second round. Palms face away, come down to the chest, press up and flex those triceps. All right, keep the dumbbells close to the top, flex right here, low. All right, I'm going to pump up my volume here until I start to really feel it. That might slow down. My focus here is on even slightly rotating the wrist at the top so I can flex those tries. Use your high volume here. Very good. Okay, starting to feel it. I got about 20 seconds left. Then I'm moving into the same exercise again, but with heavier weights and slowing down. Tate press again, heavier weight, slower pace. Take your time, do your ability. Here we go. Slow and flex. And I'm happy with that. Back to the top, back to your clean and snatch. All right, arms are starting to feel it, folks. Wide stance, drop it low. You're here, flip right there. I'll call half. sides and work right here. Use your hips. Drop it low. 
straight curl at the top. momentum and curl it here. on one side for 30 seconds, then the other, your glute will be on fire, but also great to elevate the heart rate when we work big muscles. Work right here and low. Drive that knee, let's go. Stay with me on this side. Switch legs and work. You could add a hop if you wanted high impact here, okay? Nice way to kick it up. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> She's burning. 
Oh, okay, shake that out. Going into your frog squat leg lift. You're here, leg lift, here, switch your side. Wide stance, touch the ground if you can. Low, here, and switch. Nice flat back here. Three knee repeater. Ready. Work here. Don't forget to smash that like button. Enjoy for a stretch if you can. All right, let's stretch this out. If you have a wall or chair, couch, something like that, let's just open up through the chest right here. Give that a little lengthen. Good job, everyone. That was a uh, was good. I have never done a format like that before. Switch sides. I it, it's good for a combo, like for building muscle. I think I'd rather just stick with all heavy strength. I think I would feel that more. Uh, but this is nice to switch it up, to do that little burnout, bring that arm across here, right? And maybe I would have maybe done three rounds. I think I would have liked that better too. It's sometimes a crapshoot <laughs> because I often try new things, as you know, which is probably why you come back to this channel. And sometimes I really dig what it, the format, and sometimes I'm like, okay, that's good, let's adjust. So I think I would do three rounds and fully progressively overload that. I think that would really bring some good fatigue to the muscles. It's hard with that, let's come here and to stretch. It's hard with the upper body. You don't typically, especially when you're just training arms, you're not gonna get that fatigued, right? Which is why I added some legs with some of those lighter movements, uh, just to keep the heart rate up. You don't always have to be fatigued, but if you have 45 minutes in the day and you're like, I wanna get my good workout in, then you want to sweat, right? I'm with you. I want to as well. At this point, I feel like I can go on a big walk still and have good energy for that. So that is what I will do. Round through the back here. But it's nice to switch it up and just give the muscle something a little bit different as well. Oh yeah. Arms behind the back and stretch the chest. I'm going to just tilt my neck to one side, look up to the ceiling slightly, just stretching those front neck extensors here. Very important for me to stretch and switch here. That's it. In fact, I'm going to get us to do another stretch that I've been doing a lot of. Take your arm down to the side and then just open up, turn that out. 
So now my front shoulder is getting the full rotation. I'm turning my hand out and just pulling that arm in and then turning my palm out. Oh, that one I feel a lot. Switching sides, turn my palm out and then turn my palm in. It's a good, it's a good neck muscle, especially on my editing hand where I'm using that mouse constantly. Yeah, it's, it needs, it needs a stretch. All right, folks. Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout. Lower body tomorrow. You can click or tap right there. See ya. I always want to go over there for my water, but I moved it. <laughs>